You'll never look at a pricing menu the same after this. So guys, we found a Twitter thread about the decoy effect. And if you don't know what that is, it's about pricing. And one example that really blew our minds, movie theater popcorn. Okay. So this is what this, so before this, just to frame this up for everyone, the human mind, which I just learned this, is exceptional at comparing two items. But the presence of a third item causes us to short circuit. And with a third option present, present, the mind begins comparing options against one another. The shift focus from fulfilling one's needs to finding the best value. So that is absolutely fascinating. And a couple of these examples, we're going to go through what the popcorn yeah. one. So I think everybody can relate to this. Majority of our viewers have probably been to a movie theater once in their life. You know, they have a small, medium, or large popcorn. So, so let me take you through my experience. I'll go in there and I'll say, give me the small. And they'll say, well, you know, for the small's a little, so maybe the medium. But then for 50 cents more, you can get the, the large. So every single time I go to the movie, I wind up getting the large. And I do that and I'm like, well, I'm not going to eat the large, but it's a much better value than the small. Uh, so I'll get it and I wind up eating half, uh, three quarters of the bag or maybe the whole bag. So they get me every single time. Yeah, the large is the, the most expensive and the highest price. But the difference between the small and the large is significant. The yeah. medium, however, is the decoy. So in this image, guys, I'll put it up. The small is $4, the medium is six fifty, and the large is $7. So for 50 cents more, you get the large, you get the large versus, you know, $3 between the small and the large popcorn. And those sneaky little clerks that wait on you They'll always, say, oh, for, 50, for cents. 50 cents more, you can get the large. I'm like, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and that, that's just one example, guys. Um, there's yeah, another example. If you, if you remove the decoy from this deal, it, it really kind of eliminates what you kind of, because if you look at it, now think of it on this lines where if you just, there was an option of a small and a large, and it was $4 versus $7. You might, okay, well, I'll just get the small. <laughs> but having that decoy in there, that's the, the medium, that's six fifty. it makes all of a sudden that large look like such an amazing value. You're like, well, hell, let because me Because you're looking at the bag, and it's like twice the size of a medium almost. Yeah, so it's just, you know, that's why this decoy effect works so well. And listen, the other thing is the fact that people don't have the ability to compare more than two things. When you add an additional item in there, it short circuits, and we immediately go to looking at the value of what they're presenting to us instead of what we need. It's why we buy. It's, it's looking fun. into the consumer psychology and consumer yeah. behavior. Exactly. And think about how many years this has been around for. I mean, this is a tale as old as time. They've been doing this for forever. Uh, another example, guys, is Starbucks. A grande to a venti is only a 30 cent difference versus a venti to a trenta is 50 cents. Jeez. Like that's, you know. What's so a trenta? I don't think I've ever ordered a trenta. I think that's a like that's a, an extra a large, large, yeah, because a grande is the regular size in between. Well, yeah, I always get a grande. The biggest. Yeah, I always get a grande. Right. Yeah. So I guess in this case, though, the low perceived value of Trenta makes venti look like a value option compared to grande. So they're trying to get people to do the venti, which no, is trying to get them to do the, yeah. I get them to do the venti. I always do the grande. I don't know why. Because the trent is so big, people are like, no, I don't need that. It but is then so they, big. Yeah, yeah. But, but the venti's only 30 cents less than that. Yeah, so that that's, that's really, and then there's another example with The Economist that is just mind-blowing. So the bottom line is when you're looking at your pricing strategy, having three options is always going to be better than two. The second option is going to be your decoy. And the, the third option is going to be the one that you make the most money on. So yep. using this pricing strategy, it seems to me that it's pretty bulletproof because it works across the board. It's just the way people's minds work. Guys, comment below, you know, whether it be movie theater or whatever, which one gets you every time with this decoy pricing? Yeah, and we'll post, uh, we'll post some of these examples so you can see the visual. Yeah.